Hello and welcome to my beauty corner. My name is Irina Reina and this is channel about my beauty experience and about my personal life. And today I decided to show you how I'm faking my big lips. I can't say I have big lips, I can't say I have small lips. It's like medium size lips and I really like when they so much bigger. I'm not a huge fan of a lip filler because I tried it once and it was so freakishly painful. I'm never doing this again. Okay, never say never, but I'm not doing this again. I feel like it's so much easier for me and for my nerve system to fake it than deal with the pain that fillers given you. I already did the rest of my makeup. The only thing is left is lips. So let's get started. The first step that we're gonna do, we're gonna contour the lips. I'm using the cream contouring. It's so much easier to blend and it doesn't leave any of this powder texture. That's why I like it so much. Okay, you need to be really careful because if you will go over and will put too much, you will look like you ate too much chocolate and didn't wipe your mouth. We did not want this look. We're going to pretend that our lip is so up and down that it live in shadow. If you can see, my bottom lip is actually going front. That's why it's leaving this a uh, little shadow under so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create even deeper shadow to pretend that lip going even more up and the same i'm gonna do with my front first i'm getting rid of all extra product from the brush i don't want a hard lines i'm trying to fake shadow and i also don't touch sides only shadow and under lip and a little bit on top you can see that lips already become looking bigger because we give them volume and this like deepness. So this is a very easy way to trick our mind. If we see shadow, it means that there is supposed to be something to make this shadow. I also like to put a little bit of contouring inside this little area under your lip. Sometimes I put a little too much <laughs> and make sure you're choosing character for your skin tone because if your skin tone very pale or greeny and you choose orange character it's gonna be too weird and opposite if your skin is too warm and you choose gray character is also gonna look weird. The next step is overline. This is also not that easy how it might look like okay you just go overline your lips and they bigger but no there's a little trick about this thing first of all you need to decide what form of lips do you want do you want to lift them or do you want to white them because you can see a lot of advice in internet where people say don't white them but it's not completely correct because maybe that's exactly what you need to do remember the bottom lips is always bigger than upper lips that's why if you will do too much on the upper lip it's gonna look weird not so weird but it's gonna be like less natural just if you want more natural look make sure that your bottom lip is bigger i don't want the natural look i was comparing my face with a mask for perfect proportions and i found out that if my upper lip would be bigger my face would look more aesthetic and close to perfect proportions so i'm not really touching my sides i'm trying to make my upper lip higher and my bottom lip is popping a lot so i can't really do anything because nobody can see it even if i go way out and i also use my finger to blend lip pencil for a nice gradient look You can stop already here if you want more matte look i want to do a little glossy today so we're gonna keep going and the next step that i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a little bit of life and juiciness to this lips because right now it looks too flat and a little too plain i would say so i'm gonna use the tint for lips that has more pinkish color and i'm gonna give this more pink and life color to my lips this is the korean lip technique i'm applying a little bit of tint on the inside part of the lips and blending with my finger you can see it looks so much more alive it's not all over my lips and just a little bit inside it's like we want this transition from darker shade to actual shade of our lips and then to a little more pinkish color my favorite step in this lip tutorial is we're gonna put some oil and yes it's supposed to be exactly oil i tried the same lips with uh lip gloss i don't know why it looks so different because lip oil and lip gloss supposed to give you the same result the same texture this glossiness on your lips but lip oil looks so much juicier it looks more fresh doesn't look so heavy and also gives this like a really nice juicy vibe and the biggest thing it's not that sticky like a lip gloss 
so so much better while i'm applying oil i also blend all colors together to get a more natural transition so it will look like i applied only oil and nothing more well how you can see it's super easy in three steps and the most important it's not hurt at all like lip filler and you can get rid of this any second you want if you like this glossiness i would recommend you to go and watch my video about glowy skin makeup it's also super glossy super shiny i'm sure you will like it and i will see you in the next videos love yourself